We are really, really pleased to have with us Anthony Sloan. I, excuse me, Mr. Anthony Sloan. No, How are you, Anthony? Oh, you say what you want to say. I, I already said it. We don't do the Mr. thing, man. It's like, <laughs> yeah, Mr. Mr. Sloan, like, you can say Mr. Anthony Sloan, that's all right. But you yeah. know, it's Brother Anthony Sloan. You know what they do in, in Africa? Yeah. In Africa, either they call me like Brother Anthony. Yeah. But sometimes, it's, sometimes they come very, very cool, Brother Sloan, Brother Anthony, or Mr. Anthony. Oh, okay. It's weird. Okay. It's a weird okay. thing. You know, okay. oh, I, I, I guess uh, I, I know that you have some places where the tradition is that uh, you don't really have like a, a, a family name, uh, uh, you know, as you would say, say Sloan or Williams. Yeah. Uh, so your name. Is then Anthony would be then as your name, and then Sloan would be your father's name. Exactly. So I, I see uh, that where that would, in a sense, um, uh, come into play. But as I said, I said it already, and uh, I yeah. can't take I, it back. So can't take it back. <laughs> you know, it, it, it's like that. So uh, you mentioned Africa. Uh, where, where are you these days? I'm in a I'm in a place uh, called um, I'm in the Eastern Cape. Uh, in a place called Alice, and it's up from King Williamstown. I guess you know what it it's it's called a Steve Biko country. country you know? oh, oh. And and Alice is um, is outside of a, is up from another place called East London. That's like the yeah. this thing. So, oh, so okay. it, and that's like between Port Elizabeth and Durban. Oh, okay, so it's cold where you are. No. no. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, in winter, it, I guess we're we're in the winter time now. There, uh, it's not that yeah. cold. I mean, it's, it's yeah. just, you know, it's, it's heading towards yeah, um, it's, what would be summertime. Yeah, so. spring now. But uh, what it is, it really is. Um, um, this is, we have a rainy season. We don't mm -hmm. have no. We don't have snow okay. and stuff like that. So okay. Rain. We have rain. Like yeah. That. So that's that's the, that's the season. It's not, it's not a biggie. So. Uh, what what some of the stuff happening? Uh, uh, maybe maybe uh, the the biggest news out of then South Africa because you're in South Africa was the uh, I, I guess the the incident of uh, you know the, the killing of oh, xenophobia. Of, uh, yeah, you, it's, like, a, it's you, a good. It, that's a good way. Yeah, that's the way they the say xenophobia. xenophobia. Yeah. Uh, that's a li of course. If, it, that's of course. If you're not talking about the shooting of the miners and uh, no, America, well, that's another. Yeah. But you're talking about xenophobia. Well, okay, it's uh, okay. I'm going to tell you something that you're not going to hear. Okay, it's not really xenophobia. Mm -hmm. Okay. And since some people even say Afrophobia. Mm -hmm. It's not really Afrophobia. It's not xenophobia. Yeah. It's not no. Afrophobia. Yeah. Uh, you, you can even you can't even say it's really tribal phobia. Yeah. Because if it was xenophobia or something like that, then for instance, I would be offed because I'm I'm yeah. not from from South Africa. Mm -hmm. And you have, we have the Pakistani shops. Mm -hmm. That they're not there. Nobody's bothering them. Yeah. You got the Chinese shops. Nobody's it's bothering right. them. So you really can't call it that. What yeah. you can call it is some sort of economic uh, whatever, whatever, whatever. See, because really what's happening, what's happening now is that, uh, let's say, for instance, uh, the, the folks who own the Somali shops, mm -hmm. you know, they're closer into the community. And they're in heavily a areas where you have heavy, let's say, I guess, if you're in, if you're in, the, e in the Eastern Cape like I am, there'll be a lot of, uh, say, closer. Influences mm -hmm. be more close up. I mean, when you were in, say, Joburg, that's more, that's more Zulu, mm -hmm. you know, or you, maybe in the, where I'm not, it's like, well, it's close up, little Shauna. But the point is, it can't really be called xenophobia because the people who don't have jobs in, in, in the Western Cape, and if you have mostly uh, Bosa and, the, and, the, and the, the, the shop owners are Somali, yeah. it's a Somali, uh, well, it's like the closest uh, are beating on the Somalis. Uh, mm -hmm. Well, how do you? Then how come it changes when it's in, it's in Joburg, mm -hmm. and it's the, and, and it's the the Zulus beating on the Somalis or whatever it is? <laughs> well, it doesn't jive the same way. So it's really an economic thing. Really, oh, it's, it's oh, before oh, before the jobs before the drugs came in, the jobs went out, kind of thing. Oh, but but uh, you mentioned uh, Pakistani shops. Sure. Uh, do people be beat on Pakistani? No, nope. <laughs> no. But Chinese shops? Yeah, no. no. But the the thing that I'm looking at there is uh, it would seem then that uh, 
is it is it within the let me say the psyche then that uh, Pakistanis, Chinese, uh, Europeans then would have a right. I guess maybe uh, Indians are there too. Uh, mm -hmm. That is from the subcontinent. Mm -hmm. uh, have a right uh, to do business, but uh, Somalis don't. <laughs> It's a convenient. It's 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 a convenience thing. I think it's just a mere a convenience thing. You're the person. You're the closest person I can beat up on. So I'll oh. just beat up on you <laughs> because you're making a little money from your little shop. But I I don't have anything. Look, it really it is. It's I don't want to say it's very simple, but it's very simple. It's as simple as this. Uh, you have you have a situation where the the economics is not just. There's no justice in economics. Let me put. I'll put, I'll be more severe. Uh, when uh, when you have a situation where uh, you have your political freedom, supposedly your political freedom and your social freedom, and then you know you you get your country, and then all of a sudden you realize, uh oh, wait a second, I didn't address the economics in our little revolution here. Mm -hmm. So yeah. now, so now, so for instance, you you say, oh, those young people, there, you know, we, we we struggle, we got the country where it is, but those young people, they're they're not doing anything. Then you say, wait a second, hold on, just a, hold on, just mm -hmm. just a thing. You had that little Cadessa one, where you made a deal that basically, you know, as long as you you you, you know you, you talk to the business people, or whatever have you, but you didn't talk to the people on the ground, and so you they got their little deal, and then you had the Cadessa too, where you talk to the Nationalist Party or the white people, and they got their little deal, mm -hmm. but now when it came to talk to to, to the regular street people or the villagers, mm -hmm. you didn't you didn't talk to them. You did, there's no negotiations with them. So in other words, the, 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 the I won't say the BE is called a black economic empowerment, but mm -hmm. you know, the money people, they got what they needed out of the revolution. It's called the revolution. Yeah. You know, the the, 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 national, the white people got what they got out of the revolution. But now the people on the ground, the, the, you know, all of a sudden, even the Truth and Reconciliation Committee, they stopped halfway. Not everybody got their truth and their, or get reconciled out. You yeah. know, <laughs> so basically now the young people they've got to continue to fight that you didn't con con that you didn't you didn't really wholly do anything with. Mm -hmm. You got to continue that fight, and at the same time you got to fight basically against even your own uncles and fathers because the econ they they have to fight for the economic shot now. So I don't really yeah. get where this liberation has come and all the rest of that stuff, especially when, no, it uh, doesn't work that way. It, it seems to be the, in a sense, the problem everywhere. Uh, uh, that's you know, what I'm saying. You, you know, can just look right here. Uh, because I guess maybe there are similarities between the civil rights movement uh, and, and uh, the, I guess, independence and in, in Africa, in various places, um, the, because here in South Africa, that is maybe the the one that comes uh, best to mind, and it's more recent. But exactly, uh, where, for example, what's happening in a place like, say, Kenya, and um, what what happens when uh, you know Zaire or under Mobutu, exactly. uh, where uh, the as you say, the young people are. are even if they're not young, uh, the, the, the masses, I guess the term would be, are not, they're not cutting into anything. They, they as I say, catching the same hell that they, they have always caught, and uh, nothing is being done that is, you know, time, wait, wait. You can wait mm -hmm. whilst you're starving, mm -hmm. but, you know, uh, bread is falling off of my table. So um, I'm just wondering. Uh, anybody stepping forward, I would say, in a in a manner that is seeking to address that, and I mean, not in a hmm, an opportunistic way. I'm glad you used that word. Yeah. You know, this 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 look. There's a thing that happened in Ferguson. I think it happened in Ferguson, mm -hmm. where all of a sudden they, I think the authorities, whoever offered them to build some sort of youth center, whatever it was, mm -hmm. and they said, no, we don't want that. We didn't answer it. We want justice. Mm -hmm. what, 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 what is basically happening is you can't, I think what, what, in bold, what, what I think about this Black Lives, uh, Black Lives Matter, whatever the movement mm -hmm. is, people are realizing, look, 
just stop trying to buy us off. You know, this yeah. this whole thing where, you know, you somebody gets a Coca Cola factory, you know, and then everything is cool or you get a you center and then everything is cool yeah. again until the next march or whatever yeah. have you. Even these marches, you know, these mar these mar they did absolutely useless to, to, to a lot of folks. They say, yeah. No, we don't wanna we don't we, we don't wanna go to the police station and pray at the police station while across town the same another cop car is running around beating up on somebody while we're praying at your at the station yeah. across town the cops are beating up on somebody this thing is we're talking about justice as simple as that and you yeah. whatever you you know what i'm talking about yes yeah. yeah. so i think the times have changed people are not going for them you cannot buy people off that easy anymore you can't buy them off with a march with a sit down with a praise session people are not going for that anymore yeah. Oops. Things are getting more innocent, more fundamental, where people understand, as you say, what the issue of justice really is going to mean. Exactly. I, I, was, I was hearing a, a, a report on schools in, in Connecticut, where mm. uh, I think it's in Hartford, if, if I'm not um, mistaken, but in Connecticut for sure, where uh, they're looking to have schools integrated. Now, the, the schools that are being integrated is where they're trying to get white students into black schools. And the report mentioned this black school that was then renovated to include a, um, a planetarium yeah, I guess <laughs> science labs, okay, uh, things. I'm not laughing. <laughs> I, I, I apologize. I really I apologize. No, it, 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 it's laughable because this is what it, why um, the chuckle is there. Uh, but had it not been to attract white students, there wouldn't be any planetarium, there wouldn't be any renovation or modernization of the library, the computer systems wouldn't be put in place. And it, it, it's that type of situation that I guess people are not paying attention to. You know, that if, it is, if, if white students are going to be coming, we have to make it ready for them. But the black students who are already there, we don't have to do anything for them. Look, I, let's call it let's call it uh, let's call it bait and switch, because as soon as if the, what's going to happen is that if the white students will come there, they have a nice planetarium for a little while, and then all of a sudden, for some strange reasons, you know, uh, drift back away, and then we're back right back where yeah. we started from. Yeah. So I call it a bait and switch. Yeah. You know that I you know maybe I'm not using uh, the right term, or, but or or maybe in a sense a bait and hook. That is, and when I say a bait and hook, that is, uh, uh, black students would be moved out, mm. you know, and uh, white students it becomes then instead of start it starts out as a black school that is being integrated, it becomes a white school mm. with a sprinkling of black students. But Hapta, you know, I've been thinking about this really seriously about these like charter schools. Mm -hmm. Now you, we both grew up in the same, about the same era. And, I, and I, all of a sudden it just hit me because, see, my sister went to Catholic school mm -hmm. until she was a whatever age. Mm -hmm. And the only thing we say about the Catholic school is that, you know, the girls wear short, really short skirts, you know, and also they had really good penmanship. You know, yeah. oh, that's, that's Catholic, had really good penmanship, yeah. and you know, the girls were a little bit looser than everybody else. Yeah. Um, but when I think about it, the Catholic schools are really private schools, charter schools, if you will. Yeah. So we've always had charter schools, but now we have this whole charter school situation where, whoa, it's predicated on tests and all the rest of this other stuff, but it's predicated to move people out of the really ghettoized people or whatever you want to yeah. call this stuff. But more importantly, I think there really needs a, a some sort of education thing, a revol I don't want to call it revolution, I, I'm just a bad word, but a, a, yeah. evol ex accelerated evolution, Marshall Plan, whatever they want to throw at there, because we are just not being educated. One of the things that I was in Virginia, I was talking to this guy, he says, you know, we're talking about rappers, mm -hmm. I think I meant to mention this to you, Seth. And what happens is uh, things are so desperate. People have no, they have limited vocabulary, limited everything, that they 
they they they they do a lot more cursing or whatever have you because they don't have the vocabulary anymore. In other words, they don't have the education. I don't want to say it like that because that puts it. I don't want to say educate, but they don't have the choice. They don't have something, and so what happens is because the, 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 it gets limited, more limited, more limited, and your 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 work is smaller and smaller and smaller. You don't have these choices anymore. So what happens is you start acting out, and then nobody wants to be around you because you uh, you have limited, and you keep on you know acting out as well. You should. <laughs> there's no finishing. There's there's no no. There's no there's no reading. There's no nothing, you know. And so where are you gonna go from there? And the the thing, um, the charter schools and and education, I guess generally speaking, I I know um. There's a big opposition to charter school because it is seen as a move to, uh, to privatize, public education. Mm. Right. Uh, that that. Uh, but you know my my attitude is that uh, uh, as I say whatever the move is if you get involved uh, there, there is in a sense no failure that is if a move is being made towards charter schools and, and we have a concern about education then we will make a move that we will be present in the charter school uh, program, if I may, uh, as opposed to sitting on the sidelines saying no. You want an improvement in public schools, generally speaking, but wherever it is uh, that we're going to have a presence. Because I look at, uh, for example, here, um, uh, the decentralization program of the 60s. Mm. Uh, and I say, the people to benefit least from decentralization was the people who fought for decentralization. Mm. Uh, and it, it doesn't matter to me, you know, which, which form it takes as long as we make our presence felt and we're there honestly. Well, that's yeah. the point. We yeah. don't make our presence felt because of whatever reason. But let me go back. Let me just say, go back to this whole this notion of charter school or, mm -hmm. or, 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 or Catholic school. Well. You still, you still cloistered in. You, mm -hmm. you know, was the, the Catholic school? Then you have, then you have this whole sexual problem. You know what I mean? Because everybody's hiding. So you have it. Anytime you hide something, you're going to have problems. So if 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 you have whether it's charter or not, if people, you're right. If people are not paying attention, yeah. which you, you for whatever reason, you don't have the energy to pay attention. You don't have the resource to pay attention. You know, you got five jobs and you can't pay attention. Yeah. The, you know, whatever reason you can't pay attention. And we have a yeah. leadership that doesn't pay attention. Oh, man. Well, have, that can be bought it, off and doesn't it, pay attention. It, You're right. So what? So I'm trying to get at, 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 a, at, a, at, a, at a solution, not a solution to those, because you know, they'll say solution, revolution, solution, okay. revolution. Well, you know, revolution is just a spinning hamster wheel yeah. to me. But when I look at this stuff, I'm really, I'm, I'm at, uh, not at odds, but I'm really, uh, I don't want to say upset, but to me, you have something like uh, uh, I used to. I have this. I have this note that I put. It's called. Uh, I call it the uh, um, uh, the the twenty the the uh, twenty one twenty one twenty one twenty one plan or whatever it is. And what that is, it takes twenty one days to uh, get rid of a habit, mm -hmm. and it takes twenty one days. And I say it takes twenty one days to create a new habit. So basically, you have the twenty one twenty one initiative. You know. Yeah. So say for instance, you want to stop smoking. Okay, so you stop smoking, but you no. Know, what you do is you stop smoking. Say you say you stop smoking. You say you stop cuss, cussing, right? Yeah. So you tell everybody, I'm not going to cuss anymore, right? You don't tell them that you're not going to smoke anymore. Yeah. You have these two things. So what happens? Everybody's looking for you to say, oh, is he going to cuss? Whatever. Happened. Meanwhile, you have stopped smoking, but you don't say that yet. Yeah. At the end of 21 days, right? Then you have to replace this habit. This not with something with a two. So yeah. say your two is you're going to exercise. Mm -hmm. And say you're going to, I don't know, uh, 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 eat healthy or whatever yeah. it is. So what happens? The, the, you, you have stopped smoking, but people don't realize that until afterwards. But at the same time, you start to exercise, and you say, "I'm going to exercise more." Mm -hmm. You make that a pronouncement, but you don't tell them that you're not going to do something. So you have, a, so they're looking for these things that you are not going to do. Meanwhile, you have another agenda. You have your own agenda in there. You understand? Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm yeah. getting at? And to me, that's very effective. 
because people are always going to try to snipe you and try to sell you out or try to or try somehow to to tort your your intentions. Yeah. So that's one initiative. I'm sorry. I don't want to. Let me stop right there. So you can let me. Yeah. WBAI 99.5 FM New York and on the internet at WBAI.org. Uh, this program is Labrish. My guest, Anthony Sloan, Brother Sloan, uh, Brother Anthony, uh, preferably. And uh, my name is Hapte Selassie. It is two minutes after three o'clock. A reminder that WBAI is listener sponsored non commercial radio, and by that we mean that we depend heavily on your financial support and we hope that uh, you would let me say step up uh, continue supporting the station and you can do that by uh, calling excuse me 212-209-2950 212-209-2950 or you can go to our web page at wbai.org and at the top right hand side of the page you will see where you can donate or become a WBAI buddy preferably becoming a WBAI buddy because that means you're going to make a commitment to give some monthly uh, give some financial support monthly again 212-209-2950 or WBAI.org and it is three minutes after three o'clock. You're speaking of 2121. Yeah, 2121 initiative. No, it takes 21 days to to stop to stop something, mm -hmm. and it should take 21 days to build up a new habit because mm -hmm. people are habitual. So I'm saying that I'm saying that. But, but, but my twist on it basically is that you pick two things that you're going to stop or mm -hmm. change, alter, and you can pick two things that you're going to re replace those things with. But you you let out publicly what one of those two things at the same time the, the other thing you make it private that you do and then and again you let out publicly what you what you have embraced and again you, you privately because what happens is people for some strange reason human beings just like to crab barrel it or just like to snipe you so you give something this you give them something to snipe while you have your own uh, private and then you're more likely to succeed in one of one of those things and once you have that success then you can you say oh let me try it again with something else da, 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 da. that's an uh, individual thing it, it's like uh, Dr. John Henry Clark said that uh, when uh, Gandhi was negotiating with the British for independence in India you know um, he would always pad his demands mm. with things that didn't make any sense mm. you know uh, like uh, we we won't salute the British flag anymore. Mm -hmm. You know that was a demand, <laughs> <laughs> and of course, you know, uh, <laughs> what do you, what, what do we care? you know, yeah, you know that that was some a big issue for the British. Mm -hmm. You know, but it it didn't really matter to Gandhi. So, you know, uh, okay, we'll allow you to let me say run your own schools, but you have to salute the British well, flag. You know, so uh, the the. The, th the, the, the throwaway items uh, in terms of uh, negotiations. So I guess it is um, part of what you're saying that uh, we have something that you can afford. That it doesn't matter yeah. what people do, you can afford to give them that. Otherwise, you're working at something more serious. Mm. But I bring that up because then that morphs to. Some, I'm saying these things sort of morph to the next level. Mm -hmm. So that's happening. I say, okay, and I'm I'm sort of bored with that one. I won't say that's so I'm using the wrong words, but yeah. that that's happening. Then I go. I want to do a thing called the jump theory, what I call the jump theory, okay? And I'm looking at it, I'm saying like, you know, uh, January 15th is Martin Luther King's birthday. Mm -hmm. May 19th is uh, Malcolm, Malcolm X's Mexico. birthday. So, you know, this, and then of course you have February is Black History Month, whatever it is. So this should be, a, let's, call it the rev, let's call it the season between mm -hmm. Martin Luther King's birthday and Malcolm X's birthday is roughly like 120, whatever, 124, and 25, mm -hmm. and 26, whatever it is, yeah. depending on the leap year or something yeah. like that. Yeah. So for those, yeah. let's say it's 120 days, 124 days. Mm -hmm. I'm just picking a number. So for 124 days, if you are, I'm gonna, I wanna, I'm gonna use, I'm gonna uh, do the play. You are, if you are in the downtrodden mm -hmm. situation, 
okay? The downtrodden. I'm not using black, white, or indifferent. I'm saying mm -hmm. downtrodden. Then, then what you should do is study next year, 2016. 2016, starting on, on, on Martin Luther King's birthday, every day you wake up, you walk out the door saying, I'm going to do right for myself today. Mm -hmm. Okay? Easy. So that's what means 124, 125, 126 days you're going to do right every day. You're not going to do anything. You're going to try your best not to do a negative thing. Mm -hmm. Okay? Great. Okay. This is going to be 124 days. Whoo, this is, this is worse than the, than the Christians in the 40 days and the 40 nights, but hey, you got to do Lent, you know, we're yeah. going to do it. Okay, great. Now, the jump theory works like this. It's like the Maasai in, in East Africa. You know how they jump mm -hmm. up and down. So that's what I'm going to say. That. Yeah. But at the same time, you will, since you're doing right by yourself, then you're going to do right by, let's call it your clan. So you might make consider a black person or whatever, mm -hmm. one of the downtrodden people. But then you have to look and say, but even as I do right by my, for myself, I have to reach out and do right for another clan. Mm -hmm. So let's say, for instance, I, I, I particularly like Red Cloud. So mm -hmm. the, 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 the Lakota Indians, you know, the Sioux Indians yeah. out there, they're, they're, they're like, they got the worst situation you know, yeah. <laughs> ever. Yeah. You know, they just, they just decimated. You know, they were, they're, there's people that, you know, first, you know, not, not them exactly, but let me just do the Indians for a second. I know I'm meandering. I have to do this. Mm -hmm. Here's the thing. Everything to me was a land grab. It's a land grab. So first, you know, everybody's they're on the East Coast having a good time. Oh, you got to get out of here. Okay, so they moved them on some trail of tears. Where they moved them west, west of the Mississippi, and then they put them on all this desolate land. And all of a sudden, they say, "Hey, wait a second, they got uranium under there. You, you know, so yeah. now we got to kill them off because there's no place yeah. else for them to move. So we could take that. You could take that. You could get the lay of the land. So it's all about a land grab. It's like that. Okay, great. So my thing is now I will jump for myself for these 124, 25, 26 days, mm -hmm. but I'm also have to do something for that other clan that's mm -hmm. that I that not, that's not necessarily my immediate clan. Mm -hmm. So I have to do something for them too in these 120 days. So you're actually doing again it's dual this dual yeah. thing. And you can just pick anything you want. You know, yeah. it could be, you know, this here in the Sri Lankans or whoever, I don't yeah. know. You know what I mean? And I think if, and that's what you do. I think if everybody if all the downtrodden did that. Yeah. Ju you're looking you looking for justice you, everything is about justice yeah, yeah. You know, because um, where I'm in South Africa uh, I go to university called University of Fort Hare and it's one of the graduates of that school I know, you know Mandela's been there and, and, and Chris honey has been there and, and I don't know whoever passed the Tutu's been there Alpha Tambo been there but the, to me the most important graduate was um, Mangalisa Robert Sabukwe yeah and Robert Sabukwe said Africa is about humanity. Yeah. So I'm looking for justice and humanity. So, so for me, if you're not being humane, then you need to get off the continent. <laughs> you know, don't have anything. If you're not humane, don't be looking for no minerals. Don't yeah. be looking for no land grabs. Don't be helping us out with no food. No, yeah. you know, you're going to build roads. Because yeah. if you ain't humane, Mm -hmm. Then there's other places on the planet you can go. You can keep that nonsense wherever you've been doing it. Yeah, you know, uh, keep it at home. D yeah. yeah, and a uh, matter of fact, uh, and and people at home should make it impossible for you to do it there too. You know, but everybody buys yeah. into it. That's the yeah. problem. W w and because I think that people tend to have a sense of powerlessness. You know, uh, we, we kind of think more as raindrops as opposed to the flood, uh, which, which is a collection of the raindrops. And in terms of that, we, if, if you pay attention to what we speak, we, we say we want freedom, but you know, we, we never accept the fact that if we say then we can be free, and we can do things to become free people, or a free people. And uh, you know, we, it, it's always as if, uh, we, we accept, it, as I say, internalize that Europeans are this invincible power. You know, uh, we always have to stop and calculate how they will sabotage whatever efforts we try to make. And in a sense, even before we begin, we say it's going to be done. It's going to be then overruled or defeated. So we never 
think along. We, we talk it. But as you say, we don't put it into practice. We, you know. Um, well, there we go. Yeah. Well, how did, now, here's the, now we, I've gone through those two initiatives. Let me yeah. go to the next thing. Yeah. Again, let's do an example. Let, let's do the American War. I'm sorry, the Vietnam War. Yeah. The Vietnamese yeah. call it the American <laughs> War. I'm sorry, I just got it mixed up. I'm a, I'm a universalist now, so I, I, sometimes my references get messed up. Yeah. You know, with, with, so uh, it's the Vietnam the, War. The war in you know. Vietnam. Now again, let's call that again a land grab. They tried to grab the land. Mm -hmm. Well, the Vietnamese wasn't having it. They said, French, you ain't getting this land, and America, you ain't getting this land. But years later, now you start looking at yourself, it comes from Vietnam. So they, they basically, what's happening is you got the, they, they do the economic shot. So they'll finally get it, they get their grab through the economic shot. So now you say, okay, we beat you on the land grab. And now you're trying to do, do this whole economic, banking, whatever thing is. Well, there you go. Now we got to change the banking. If you're going to fight them, that's my point. I don't want, I, I, of course, I, I did my marching, I did my protesting. I, you know, the horses done tried to descend upon me and, you know, yeah. so, you know whatever, whatever that stuff. I'm through with that. My, my thing is that if you want to do a revolution now, I'm going after the bankers because after all, they sick the bankers on us. Think about it. Think yeah. about it. I, I don't, I don't want to really mention any names, but I sort of have to in this particular case. If you don't mind, I'm not coming after the man because I know everybody. I love him. I love him. Oh, he's the, the first time. Oh, he's yeah. yeah. But he sicked, you know, Eric yeah. Cole on us. <laughs> then Eric Cole is going. Now he's sicking, you know, Loretta Lynch on us. Mm -hmm. And they're all from the banking class. And what did they do? They said, oh, you know, we're going we're gonna to we're gonna keep on throwing brothers in jail. We're going we're gonna to do this. We're going to do that. But we're not, we can't. Those, those bankers, we got to leave them alone. Well, yeah. I'm saying, okay, you want to play that? Fine. Great. You, I can't do nothing about that. I'm just a little guy. But, you know, at it, the it, it, same time that, 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 that the president was being, was being elected, to say that same year, in 2008, there was a thing called the blockchain protocol came out. It's personified by a thing called Bitcoin, okay? Mm -hmm. But it's really, it's really just cryptocurrency. Yeah. Like I said, it's personified by Bitcoin. Well, hey, what that is is what's called a public ledger. In other words, the whole of banking finagling they do, you know, all this, all this fiat currency or whatever they call, whatever they, whatever they call it now. Well, when you have the blockchain protocol, you can't do that because everything, you'll be discovered. Mm -hmm. So. I'm, I'm, I'm watching for what I, what I call I'm doing this dual thing. I like to do this ambidextrous thing. Okay, I'm going to keep my dollars or whatever I have or my rands or whatever I got. But I'm going to say, hmm, let me investigate this blockchain protocol just in case something happens. So then what I do is I start checking out this like bit gold and, and bit reserve, you know? Because mm -hmm. I'm ambidextrous. Just like yeah. I, can, I can still vote. You know what I mean? I can vote. Yeah. Voting is easy. You know, once every two years, yeah. I throw do something like that. You know, I can go to a meeting. Well, I see. I was just at a, a thing for the, 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 you know, up in Harlem. You know, with Carl Dixon and 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 uh, Cornell okay. Westbrook. And I gave my little yeah. five dollars to that. You know, yeah. whatever have you. So I can do that, but I can also do this other things. This is what bothers me about what we do. We can, why can't we be ambidextrous, versatile? I, I, I think that that is uh, a, a very important thing. In, in that it's the same thing I'm saying about uh, with, with charter schools. That is, we can fight, uh, I, I don't like to say fight, we can work for an improvement in the public schools, but we should have a presence, as I said, if they have schools on the, under the sea, we should have schools under the sea. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I shouldn't say if they if there are schools under the sea, we mm -hmm. should have a presence everywhere, so that it is not something where we're always saying the the only way it can be done is the way that it has always been done, and whatever the game is that we are players, you know, it is not a it's it's kind of like. A, I remember hearing a woman say, well, you know, go golf, you know, it's just, you know, some white men running around hitting a white ball into a little hole and until um, 
Tiger Woods showed up. I wonder what she said after that, you know, mm -hmm. because it, it, but it, it is this, that the, the present, having a presence and having a meaningful presence uh, in, in, in terms of, it, it is not always following. Um, that is, it is not because, let me say, they are doing it why we're doing it, but it, if it exists, we want to have a role and to have a meaningful role so that the idea that you mentioned, the humanity of it, is not lost. That is, uh, we're, we're into the business of education, we're into the business of an ending of oppression, we're into the business of uh, realizing the humanity of humanity. And, and doing all that we can, just, just as other people have worked to, let me say, shape the destiny of humanity. We also have that responsibility to work to shape the destiny of humanity, predicated on being human, of being humane, uh, as, as you mentioned. You know, I'm glad you mentioned golf. This is interesting. <laughs> no, because traditionally golf was used, uh, if just have those country clubs or whatever have yeah. Golf is used so these folks can get together and make their little business plans. Mm -hmm. just, just, just like, just like uh, uh, this whole after the dinner, they had the brandy and the cigars, so the men yeah. would go into the. the well, they would, yeah, you, you looked like it was brandy and cigars, but they were doing their business. They left the women out of it. Now you had golf, you know, in these country clubs, so you can leave some people out of it, so you can make your deals on the link chain. Now, interestingly enough, in Africa, you know what they do? Church. <laughs> In Nigeria, everybody knows. It's, well, how come there's so many Christians in 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 Nigeria or in in, in Africa? They're going. They're not going to hear the word of the Lord. Our only. <laughs> I'm. I'm gonna. I'm. You could say that. I'm telling you, they're not going to hear the word of the Lord. <coughs> they're going me. there to make some deals. Jesus. And right. if, if the, the people ain't making deals, the, the, the others are going there to check out the whatever, the, you know, whatever, whatever they, their little liaisons or whatever it is. So all these, all these games and institutions have morphed into these other things. They have been, uh, I don't want to say hijacked, but, but I don't want to even say corrupted, but morphed. I just want to say yeah. morphed yeah. into these other things, but uh, opportunistic things that happen, you know? And I, 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 I'm not trying to be a purist to say, oh no, but you have to do church, church, but it was golf, golf, whatever it is. But that's what happens. Because, but, but why? why? I'm just trying to say, why does it happen? That's why I get back to this thing about justice and, and land grabs and, 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 taking and, 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 uh, and humanity. Because, I mean, that, that's what's happening. I, I don't yeah. know how to say it. Uh, let me do this. It is. 19 minutes after 3 o'clock, WBAI 99.5 FM, New York. The program is lavish. My guest, uh, Anthony Sloan, brother Anthony Sloan. Uh, my name is Hapta Selassie, and we're going to run this one by you. As uh, Taj Mahal said, we're going to tickle your auditory. Oh, I like Taj. I love Taj. Yeah. 